Hi, I'm Jordan from Absalon Data Science, and I'm here to tell you about CoronaRank. Let's start by talking about the problems that we're trying to solve. The first problem is that it's difficult to know which areas and people to avoid, given that so few tests are being done and so many people are asymptomatic. Second, test kits are a scarce resource, and there's no obvious way to decide who should be tested and who shouldn't. Third, many hospitals are running out of supplies. Supply chain management is going to be a huge problem moving forward. Lastly, many young healthy people are ignoring social distancing guidance on the basis that they have a low personal risk. We need a way to illustrate how breaking isolation can affect communities at the personal level. Google's PageRank algorithm ranks web pages based partly on their interactions with other popular web pages. We've taken that idea and applied it to epidemiology. You can determine the likelihood of whether a person has been exposed to novel coronavirus by using geolocation data to analyze their interactions with confirmed and potential vectors. We can mimic page rank methodology in epidemiology with Markov chain modeling. CoronaRank is an algorithm that uses geolocation data, epidemiological data, self-reporting, and Markov chain modeling to assess the likelihood of coronavirus exposure. An individual's corona rank is the likelihood that they may be infected with COVID-19. Confirmed cases are assigned a corona rank of 1. For everyone else, corona rank is determined by the number of confirmed cases in a user's location, self-reports of COVID-19 related symptoms, and possible interactions with others based on geolocation data from the past two weeks. We can use corona rank to generate heat maps, showing high-risk areas to avoid and providing predictions about where hospitals might be overloaded in the future based on potential exposure. By assessing the risk of infection at an individual level, we can prioritize who should be tested. And lastly, young healthy people who break isolation can be shown exactly how risky their behavior is. Our MVP pulls data from Verisat and is already useful for showing potential hotspots based on interactions. We would like to develop a mobile app to collect voluntary data and partner with a public health organization to scale the app. We could deploy this project in weeks, not months. Thanks for paying attention, and special thanks to Eva Knitter for helping us with the epidemiology stuff.